welcome back to the 710 Performance YouTube channel. Today we're going to have some fun doing another powder coat durability test. This time it's on Tiger Drylac Sunrise Metallic Black. I'm sure you probably got the idea from the thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and hit this with a few different things. We've got some of the fireworks that you just throw down and they pop on the ground. We've got some black cats, we've got some bottle rockets, as well as mortars and a few other things. So we're going to see exactly what kind of heat and what kind of explosions that this wheel could take. Go ahead and smash that like button down below to show your support for the channel. Let's get to it. So let's go ahead and start off with some of these pop pops. As you know, you may have some kids in your neighborhood on the 4th of July or who just want to mess around and maybe they throw these on the ground or on your wheels and pop them on your wheels. Let's see how well this can go ahead and handle these. <laughs> Didn't even pop. So as you can see there are some cloudy marks, but it all seems to just kind of wipe away. There is a little dust on it, but it does not seem like it did any damage. Maybe, right? Maybe, but I don't see it on any other spots. That could have been from the barrel, but let's see here on the face. Yeah, it just leaves some marks, but everything seems to wipe off real easy. That was not from those, that was from the move. So. These can hold up to some little poppers. Now remember, these don't have a clear coat on them. This is just a powder coat by itself. Let's go ahead and move on to a black cat. So we're just gonna go ahead and set this right here and give her an old light. And he see set what it she in, does. The, in the groove. Let's see. Well, let's see. You can see a, there was a little mark there from the wick, but now it just wiped off. It seems like everything just kind of wipes off, although it is a little bit cloudy. There are no chips or anything like that. So if it can handle one, let's see how it can handle ten. Okay, we do have some marks there, but it looks like they just wipe right off. Tell you what, it is leaving Add a little more. of the old human saliva. Everything seems to wipe off pretty good. Let's flip this over and see because it fell in there. Again, just some marks. Maybe right there? No. Yeah, just some marks. Does not look like any damage is done. So if it can handle 10, can it handle 100? No, it was just a uh, thing going. Just awake. Hold up. Well. It just seems dusty. Yeah, really dirty. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, sharp, but I think that's how the rim was. Yeah, you could tell because it was coated over it. So, black cats don't do anything to it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. A bottle rocket. Let's see if this can handle bottle rockets. So 
let's see what we can do. Just so you guys do know, we do have safety. Well, that one, try again. <laughs> There you go. He's putting it underneath. Run! <laughs> and there's no damage. Uh, it's a dirty wheel, but there's no damage to it. I think a mortar might do some damage. Okay, but we, we got do have another test. We're gonna hold the torch to the barrel for 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna see what it can do. Let's get the old stopwatch on. And start. It's doing something, it looks like. Yes, it does. Looks like it's actually starting to drip. Yeah. A little. And stop. Okay. It does look like it was running a little. Yeah, it does. But that's strange. That's just condensation, because yeah. I think it was cold. Look at that, it wipes right off. Oh, no wow. issue. No issue with heat to it. Nice. At least for 30 seconds. At least for 30 seconds. If it can withstand the heat from the torch for 30 seconds, let's see if it can handle the heat from a sparkler for 30 seconds. Okay, we're gonna see how well it'll do with a sparkler that burns at like, I think a thousand degrees or more for 30 seconds. Well, 26 seconds. It was, yeah, it was just about there, but it looks like there was some damage done on that one. Yep. Yeah, because it doesn't look like that's gonna come off. So, the sparkler, a couple thousand degrees, did do some damage. You can barely feel it though. It's almost like you, you can see it, but you, it doesn't really feel it. You can't really feel it. Well, let's see how well it can handle a mortar. Now this is just a nice little single stage mortar. We're gonna go ahead and set it on, uh, we're gonna set it underneath, and we'll see what it does to the inside of the barrel. I'm gonna take a step back here. It's gonna be loud. Oh. Better watch your face. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Well, it definitely moved. <laughs> yeah, it raises the whole rim. It's a little dirty. Let's see how well it looks. Oh, there's a little bit of the hole on the ground. Oh, wow. right here? No, no, on the ground. No, I'm look. saying right here. Yep. Oh, it looks like there could be a little burn mark there. But other than that, it wipes right out. Wow. I can handle some stuff. Uh -huh. I really can. If it can handle that, can it handle a two-stage mortar? Let's find Let's out. See. This one we're gonna set down like this. Smoking. 
my rims. Dang. Well, it's definitely a different color. That's not coming off, it didn't look like. Uh, it seems to be. What we're gonna have to do is get some paper towel when we're done and wipe this all down because it looks like a lot of this is just dirt. It does look like there's some marks, but I had it set right under here. You can see where the wick burnt it some, but that's all coming off. Yep. Let's do another mortar. I was gonna say, should we do two mortars? Two single stage or two doubles? Two doubles. Yeah. Oh, biggin. We'll do a double and a biggin. Cause we I don't have we don't have no more doubles. Let's do it how we double and a biggin. Let's do it how we first did it. Uh lay it down on it or yeah. underneath it? Underneath it. Okay. So we'll do these two. See where it goes from here. It's like it's on fire. That's crazy looking. Smoking. Did some Dang. damage to the ground. Oh, it's looking black in there. There's a little bit of burn there. Coming right off. Okay, oh. let's go ahead and pour some water on these. And see, and we got a towel here. We'll see how it cleans up. We can assess the damage. <laughs> it already looks better. Yeah. It definitely does. I mean, there's some burn marks on there. But a lot of them are wiping off. I'm actually pretty surprised. Is that the burn mark? Yeah, that looks like a burn mark there. It ain't coming off. That's and good. a burn mark there. Mark. And there, and there. So there definitely are some burn marks. Oh, I thought that uh, was chipped. I thought yeah. that was chipped. That's funny. Let's turn this over. Still looking solid. Yeah, it does. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's definitely some marks on it. But there is no chipping, no real scratching. It's just like some black marks. There's like not The only place that has even a serious burn mark is where the sparkler was. Yeah. But there's definitely... Some damage to the powder coat. A few burn marks here and there. But I'm actually quite surprised on how well it stood up to it. This is Tiger Dry Lac, Sunrise Metallic Black, really cool flip-flop color. And as far as durability against fire and explosion, it's pretty good. I'd have to say it's pretty durable. That is for sure. I think we had to try this on a white piece. If you want us to go ahead and try this on any other pieces, or maybe some Tannerite, and if you like this video, video, hit that like button down below. Show your support for the channel. It's free, and if you've watched this far in the video and you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click on the little bell and turn on all notifications. That way you're alerted every time we upload new content and go live. Thank you very much for checking it out, and we will see you in the next video. Oh,